Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Say hey. Two things today. I know it's been a little while since I posted a video. As always, I'm very busy with life and working and doing crazy van life things. Um, so, if some of you are in the southern or middle part of the United States, you'll realize that summertime is here and it's hot. Okay. And a lot of you are van lifers as well. If you are a van lifer and you realize how freaking hot it is and you're suffering, sorry if my face looks swollen. I have an abscess tooth. It's getting pulled out in a couple weeks. So my face is swollen. Um, so I was trying to find some relief from the heat because I do live in a van. And the temperature here is about, well, yesterday it was 96. So it is pretty hot and it's really humid, even if it's not really hot. It's been raining all day today and it's just really humid. I look humid, okay? So I was looking into all these different options for the van. Um, a lot of people might have like a battery set up in their van or a way that they can power like a bigger AC unit. Um, I do not because I have my Jackery battery. So I have the Jackery 240. So I think it only runs up to like 250 watts, which is kind of yucky because there's a lot of things that I would like to run that I can't run. Um, I can run my fan. This is a, my fantastic fan. This thing only pulls like probably like 13 watts. Um, so this is really cool because you can pull air in or air out. But when it's really, really hot in a van, you have to find a place to park under trees where it's shady. I live in the city. <laughs> That's really hard to do unless I park in a neighborhood. There's only three spots that I know of that have trees. And even under the trees, the last couple days have been incredibly hot. Um, so this thing, it does pretty good, but when it's so hot out, I wanted something that was kind of like an AC. So I started looking, ow, God. <laughs> ow, there's something in my carpet stabbed me. So I started looking into some things that I thought would be like, like maybe little personal ACs or something that wouldn't pull a lot of watts. So I came across the Arctic Air. Sorry guys, I'm going to apologize in advance that I do have Tourette's and I have ticks. If you have something mean to say, keep it to yourself. Um, so, I got the Arctic Air. Normally these things run about $40, I think. They do have an Arctic Air too. That is, runs a lot better. Um, but unfortunately it pulled 350 watts, so my battery would not run it. So I had to go with the original one, which runs, I think it's a 250 or 200 watts or something like that. Um, so what you do is there's this little compartment right here that you put water in. Um, I put ice water in it and ice chunks um, to keep it cooler <laughs> inside this little compartment here. There is a filter that you pull in and out. The whole filter basically absorbs the water and then there's a fan in the back which pushes the air out. I have it on the highest setting now. There are LED lights. You can change the color of the lights right here. You can also set it off or you can set it to white. You can also hold it down. Oh, hold on. You can hold it down like this, and um, I think then you can you can set the uh, the settings on the low like low setting for the light or high setting for the light. Whatever you want to do. The light on the top doesn't turn off though, so at night I'll cover it. But um, I was really hopeful for this thing because when I first tried it out. It felt like it was pretty cool. Um, but the last two days I used it um, all night long to try to get some relief from the heat and unfortunately this thing just isn't doing it. This thing is good for like if you want to use it like in an office or something like on a desk like as a personal AC to blow right on you then it it's pretty cool but um, Unfortunately, it does not help cool down my van at all. In fact, it 
feels about the same as this little fan. I run this little fan and that probably feels just as cool as the little fan. God, my face. Um, so I actually got that for $28 because I got it on Groupon. So I got a coupon. Um, it does leak. Just to let you guys know. That's why I have it in my little makeshift sink. Because it leaks. It leaks. And I already knew when I read the reviews for it before that it leaked. And um, I knew that it wasn't going to be very promising. But I wanted to give it a try because I live in a van. And I wanted to go through all my options so I could have some kind of relief or find out for myself. So I don't regret buying it. It's a cool little thing. Um, in the morning though, because it is... I do run it off of here off my USB. Um, you have to have it plugged in. Um, it does have a, an option for an actual wall plug. Um, I just like to use it on my USB. But I will put it like in the corner of my bed in the morning time and point it towards my dog because it gets so hot that I just feel awful for her. And she's humping a teddy bear right now in the middle of my video. Hey, this is a rated G video. Okay, can we keep it clean for the people that are watching on YouTube? I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> She's a freak. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, so that's the Arctic Air, the um, the first one that came out. There's an Arctic Air 2 um, that I did watch reviews on that was, it pushed out a lot of cold air. Or it was, like, faster. Um, but with something like this, where you put ice water in it, you can only... You can only get so much out of it. So if anybody else is living van life and they know of any better options as far as keeping cold, please let me know. Because I am dying. <laughs> she is too. Help us. Okay. Um, as you guys know, I'm a very spiritual person. Um, so I am going through some stuff right now. I just got back into my tarot card readings and all that stuff, but I've been trying really hard. Like, I just went on a vegan diet, um, and it's rough because I really like coffee. Like, that's like my weakness. I drink coffee all day, and I normally use creamer. Well, lately I've been using almond milk, which is actually pretty good. Like, believe it or not, today I got it with almond milk, and it was pretty good. Um, but I saw this other little tip on another video about decalcifying your pineal gland with iodine drops. So I went and got some iodine drops today. You take three of these a day and it helps remove like the heavy metals and stuff from your body. Um, especially from your pineal gland. If you're trying to open up your third eye, um, these are good. Um, drink alkaline water. <laughs> um, drinking alkaline water. Um, it's just less acidic and it helps, um, break down the metals, heavy metals and stuff in your body. Um, so I was just kind of pointing those out. This is kind of a review for the Arctic Air. Um, but I know I haven't had uh, done a video in a little while, but if anybody has suggestions about keeping cool in a van, please throw them my way because I got two fans running and this Arctic Air and I am still sweating! The only time I actually get in any relief in the van is when I'm driving it and I have the AC on. But that's kind of short-lived because that's only in the front. That's the front cabin. I actually have the, the curtain closed right now because <laughs> we're just parked in a parking lot. And when I have the lights on in the back, I like to um, not draw attention to ourselves. But this is my fantastic fan. While I'm in the uh, process of making a... A review about the Arctic Air, I might as well do my Fantastic Fan. <laughs> um, this one is a manual. I was gonna buy the one that was remote controlled, but it was like 200 some dollars. And at the time, I was a little short on cash. So I got the manual one, which works fine. It is on the lowest setting right now, and it's pulling the air out. So I, I figured if I had the fans running, it would pull the hot air out of here. Um, so this thing is actually pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, this one was 150 I had already put the insulation on the roof. Um, and then I cut the roof out. And I actually got some weather stripping 
um, and put that in there before I put the um, self-leveling, like the, the adhesive stuff on the top. Um, it does have a clear top. It's open right now, but it has a blue clear top, so at night you could see through it. But as much as I thought that was going to be cool, like neat to be able to see out of it at night, in the morning time, when the sun beams down, it beams down. So, as nice as the clear top is at night, I would recommend getting one that you can't see through. Because, <clears throat> if it's hot where you live... <clears throat> Sorry, that was a bad tick. If it's hot where you live, um, I have an issue in the morning... The sun literally comes right through and it's over my bed. So I always end up being like right in the, in the, in the sunlight. Um, so it sucks. Um, so a lot of time, well, I still have my insulation from when I cut it out. So I will, um, I put some Velcro strips and then I'll put that right up there. So when I'm not running the fan and I don't want the sun beaming in, I will Velcro, I Velcro my, my, um, insulation right back up there. So, and then I can pull it down. Other than that, I really like the Fantastic Fan. I actually wired it, um, <coughs> it goes down here and then it runs all the way over here. And then I, it doesn't come like this though, guys. I, when I ordered this on Amazon, I did have to order the 12 um, volt um, adapter. So I basically just wired the end pieces. The, the adapter already came like this, and all I had to do was plug the pieces in. Basically. Um, this was probably like 10 bucks. So I wired that, and I just plug it into my um, Jackery battery here. Right now I'm pulling 44 watts on this thing because I do have the fan in the ceiling running, I have the light, and I have my cell phone charging, and I have the Arctic Air running all at once. So, that's really not bad for running all this stuff at one time. The Jackery batteries are awesome. When I first got the Jackery battery, though, I was a little upset because I started off van life with a lot of electronics. Um, I had, like, an electronic um, skillet thingy to cook in, like a water kettle to heat up water, um, a little tiny coffee pot, a portable heater. Um, I had all those things and I couldn't run any of them, not one. So, <laughs> I ended up going out and getting a single birder. Uh, so I went and got out a little bit, a little camping kettle thing. Um, and then my single burner propane thing. So it works out just as good. Um, I just heat up water on this thing. I actually have pots and pans and stuff in my other drawer where I can cook on top of this thing. I don't really use it as much as I did when I first moved into the van. I used to make coffee and oatmeal and stuff every day, every morning. Um, so I do have my little coffee pot. I can't run it, but I put a filter in there and coffee and then I pour hot water in the top. Just like you would when you plug it in, except it's not plugged in. But I stopped doing that because I end up going and buying coffee every day anyway. Because I like iced coffee and since it's so hot out, I don't want hot coffee. So, uh, lately I have been spending a lot of money on iced coffees. Um, but I still do make my oatmeal. I get organic oat, quick oats. And I just put them in a bowl and I put some brown sugar in it, and it's delicious. I don't know if I ever showed you guys my van. Like, really. <laughs> so this is my cooking drawer. This is my kitchen drawer. They're a little unorganized right now because I've just been throwing stuff everywhere. So I got bowls, coffee filters, silverware, cutting boards, which I have a giant cutting board up here. Um, plates, coffee mugs, salt and pepper, scissors, measuring cups, all that good stuff. This is my very, very messy kitchen drawer. 
I got oatmeal, sugar, coffee creamer, crackers, coffee, cashews, cheese it, brown sugar, bag of dog food. <laughs> and then I got my bathroom stuff, which is also very messy. Because <laughs> I keep it like a gym bag, like a shower bag under my bed. And normally I keep all my shower stuff in there, but, you know, typical stuff, makeup bag, floss, a mirror, uh, hair dryers, face cream, deodorant, um, all that good stuff. Very messy right now. And then, this is a cool little speaker that a girlfriend of mine gave me yesterday. It's pretty cool. But, um, when I'm not driving or anything, like, these, these things are really cool for drawers. Um, unfortunately, when you're driving, they do like to slide out like this. But it's okay. Um, these are my pants. Um, but when I'm just chilling in the van at night, I push them all the way back towards the wall because this thing doesn't go all the way back because they're, um, my gas tank, like, well... It, it comes out this way so it can't push all the way back which is actually kind of cool though because I can put stuff behind it like big stuff like I have a folding chair and a folding table and all kinds of stuff I could just literally store them right behind this thing but the cool thing about it is I can push these all the way back and I can use them <laughs> like if I'm just chilling sitting on the floor I typically push them back and use them as like a little table um, these are my shirts this right here is like my linens, my towels, bed sheets, um, little bathroom towels. I got a bunch of stuff here like dog raw hides. And... This is my random drawer right here. It's got like dry dog food. Um, it still has, it has some like jackets in it. Um, some tools for like if I need something in the van like screwdrivers and stuff like that. And I have some pretty cool storage up front too underneath the seats. Um, so that's my stuff here. <laughs> I used to have this thing. It's like one of those long things that, like, the storage slots for closets. I had it hanging up over here. Um, but it was in the way of the door. So when I tried to open the door, if I only went out this door, I had to squeeze through it. Um, so I decided to put it back here since I don't really use it. I just use a couple of them. So it works perfect. It stays out of the way and I can use it for toilet paper. Um, I put my lighters and stuff there. I have some big long lighters to light candles and um, my propane stove and stuff. <laughs> my crystals, my sage, my crystals, my candles, my incense, my little am my god, I'm big amethyst. Um, I keep my bracelets, all my bracelets and my necklaces and stuff there. So that's pretty cool. I'm giving you the van tour. <laughs> Um, her dog bed, normally it's up there in the front seat. I just brought it back here. Um, then her dog food. All this right here is trash. This is like trash that I need to take out. Um, I did at one time have my doors duct taped to hide the insulation, but then I realized if you have, if you live in a van, it's really necessary to put a handle on this thing because I found myself grabbing for this to pull the door shut. Um, so I had to cut the duct tape to put it like a little slit to pull. Ended up ripping out. It's okay. But I am going to install a handle, like one of those suction things, to pull the door shut. Because this one you can just grab, but this one, there's nothing to grab a hold of. Like, you can pull this or pull this, but I pull the inside. <laughs> um, I always keep, I always go to the water, they have these little things called Prima water. It's like treated water. Uh, it's like filtered. It's 35 cents a gallon. You can go in front of grocery stores and get it. There's one in front of Dollar Tree over here. Um, so this is my water. It's purified water. I typically just keep these two here with me. But I have this little um, pole thing that I have. Um, so when I have this door open, sometimes it likes to swing closed when the wind blows. So I actually put this little rod at the bottom of the door to hold it open but 
when I'm not using it, I put it behind my wall here. And then I used to keep my water jugs down there with the cooking stuff, but it would slide all the time. The water jugs would fly everywhere. So I found that putting them right here and putting this stick right here held them in place. So even when the doors are open, they don't go anywhere because the stick holds them. So that's really cool. Um, I don't know why I have my dirty stuff, my dirty pots there. Um, this is just my storage stuff. My backpack, we go on lots of walks. Um, so I always bring like water for her and some water bowls and some food bowls. Um, whatever else I'm taking, like books or, um, I always keep my hammock in here because we like to put the hammock up and hang out. This is her dog bag. Um, my toilet, my cooler, I do not use the cooler anymore, the only reason I have the cooler here is to keep um, ice water for my Arctic air. Um, that'll be short lived because it doesn't keep shit cold. Um, and then there's my gym bag down here. Um, I have a lot of stuff under there. Um, I have like a big mesh laundry basket thing that I couldn't figure out where to put, so I laid it down sideways behind the toilet and it works perfectly. So when I have dirty clothes, I can just throw them in the basket under here. And when it's laundry day, I pull this stuff, just slide it, just slide it out real easy. Um, and uh, I just pull the bag out, go to the laundromat, dump it all in, and that's it. Pretty easy. I've come to find the last, I have only been doing van life for about two and a half months now. Um, but I have kind of figured out a routine with things. Um, things kind of just work out pretty easy. So anyway, um, I have some string lights up here too. These are cool. Here, I'll plug these in. I'm sure you guys have seen these before, but sometimes I don't like the big light. Lights out. Sometimes I don't. Oh yeah, I'll show you this. Oh, that's how it's lit up. Sometimes I don't really like the big lights, and I like to have like a little... It's just like... I like it. I like the feel. The other half, unfortunately, isn't working. I have to get another strand of lights, but since it's out of season right now, it's hard to find Christmas lights. So this is my bed. When I started van life, I was using a full-size 4-inch memory foam bed topper as my bed. I've had it for a long, long time, but it was hanging over the side of my bed about five inches and I could feel the wood for my bed frame. So I decided to order a twin size eight inch memory foam mattress from Amazon for like a hundred bucks. Um, but come to find out that wasn't, it was way too short. So I have a big gap now and I've shoved some memory foam pillows over here for her bed. So she sleeps over there on some nice comfy pillows with her blankies. And then this is my bed. But it doesn't hang over anymore, which is cool. And it's thicker, but the problem is I can't really sit on my bed anymore without my head hitting the ceiling. So I kind of just relax. I sit on the floor anyway, which isn't a big deal. There was something else that I was going to tell you guys. I can't. I can't remember now for some reason. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I still have to do the ceiling. I know it looks ugly because I have insulation and screws and duct tape. Um, the duct tape was just to fill gaps, but it just looks really crappy. So I plan on putting some kind of fabric up there and like just gluing it on and making it look like an actual ceiling. Therefore, I can put some trim up where the white metal is, um, and then decorating it. So I'm still in the process of doing a lot of things. Um, I have some of my artwork. Um, my mom actually painted that for me as a um, like a well, like a home warming gift kind of thing. I'm gonna go turn the lights back on. <laughs> so. Um, that was a little tour, <laughs> nothing too spectacular. 
Um, my van build was really, it only took me two days and I did a very, very basic van build anyway. Um, if you guys look back at my van, there's a bunch of van build videos. Um, but I never actually did a video on how I put the fan in or anything like that. Because it was kind of a scary time for me. <laughs> um, I thought I was going to kill myself sawing a hole in my roof. Um, it was pretty brutal. There was metal chunks everywhere and stuff like that. But I am really proud of myself that I did it by myself. I did the entire van by myself. Um, I'm still in the process of doing it. Unfortunately, the tape doesn't hold up in the heat and it likes to fall apart. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, if you guys have any questions for me, this really was supposed to be a short video about the Arctic Air and the Fantastic Fan. But if you have any questions, let me know. Mm -hmm. If you have any um, suggestions about keeping cold in the van, please let me know because I'm dying. Anyway, I hope all of you have a wonderful night. Love you guys.